Right now, it's a very critical moment that we all need to do something about the environment and protecting the natural resources. Costa Rica is an incredible place in order to do research as a scientist because you have an incredible diversity of ecosystems here. There's wonderful opportunities for collaboration and both amongst those of us researchers from the states, from Canada, from Europe, and then with local people. The different perspectives added together make more than what we can do individually. So the collaboration helps conservation and research. I study animal behavior, uh, particularly social behavior in wasps. I'm a molecular biologist. I work for the Nature Conservancy. I used to work as a university professor at the National University here in Costa Rica. And I am doing my dissertation research on a group of birds that live in the understarved rainforest. I'm studying parental care in poison dart frogs. Boundaries between countries are political boundaries. You know, the animals don't know that there's a boundary between Nicaragua or Costa Rica. And all these ecosystems are interconnected. How is man going to live within his environment without destroying it completely? It has to figure out ways to coexist. We are learning more and more with ecology that everything is related. Everything's connected in the whole world. If we destroy this mangrove here, it's going to affect other places. So we figure out things here that are being applied to forests in other places and are being applied to conservation in other places. It's very important to protect it, especially because the mangrove is the place where fish come and reproduce. So it's like the nest for many of the resources in the ocean. The awareness that this area produces more for humanity, for, for us. If you can understand every little piece, then you really can get a, an idea of the bigger picture. Basic science research allows us to know when things are falling apart. It allows us to know how to restore things. And so from the level of the gene up to the level of the forest and the planet, we have to understand what's going on before we even know that it's being destroyed. <laughs>